A Sheaf of Roses by Elizabeth Gordon Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk Dedication This book is dedicated to all kindred spirits who love the beautiful in nature, and is especially inscribed to my loyal friends of the Pacific Coast. Elizabeth Gordon End of Dedication This recording is in the public domain. Poems 1 to 8 of A Sheaf of Roses by Elizabeth Gordon. Read for LibriVox.org. A Sheaf of Roses. The rose was born of lover's sighs, of lover's tears and sobs, and deep within its glowing heart, the heart of true love throbs. Each rose that blooms an emblem is of love divine and true and i have made a sheaf of them to send with love to you a bunch of roses better than gifts of gleaming gold or houses made by hands more precious than the glowing gems men seek in distant lands breathing of love and purity of constant hearts and true a bunch of roses god's own gift all wet with heaven's dew white cherokee an angel on her way to heaven one perfumed starlit night remembered one she'd left behind and pausing in her flight looked back to earth and shed a tear for love left all forlorn behold where fell that pearly drop a pure white rose was born cecil bruner two men there were in olden days who loved each other well to each man was the same fair maid dearer than words could tell one kissed her hand and rode away his heart with sorrow fraught Around that cottage threshold grew the rose called friendly thought. Frau Karl Drusky. A mother heard the war god call her well loved firstborn's name. With lips that smiled, but heart that bled, she heard his dream of fame. She pinned the colors on his breast and watched him march away. The rose they call the mother's prayer blossomed that fateful day. White Banksia One journeyed to a foreign land to teach the love of God. The thorns of ignorance and strife beset the path he trod. His prayer for faith and strength went up to him who hears all woes an answering sign to him was sent the sweet white banksia rose rose of old castile a proud castilian beauty left her home in sunny spain and went with him who held her heart a fairer home to gain to strange new lands the good ship sailed and where she touched her keel there grew in token of young love the rose of old castile safrano a spanish maid of high degree lived in her patio suitors she had but none could touch the maid's pure heart of snow there came a gallant from the wars who'd vanquished all his foes he won her heart and from her blush grew the soprano rose end of poems one to eight this recording is in the public domain poems nine to seventeen of a sheaf of roses by elizabeth gordon read for librivox dot org pink cherokee a tender yearning mother soul 
whose life had never known the blessing of a baby's heart beating against her own found rosy smiling at her door a babe of mystery there bloomed the rose of mother love the rare pink cherokee jacques Minot. a boy and girl from infancy playmates good comrades too walked hand in hand one summer day a rare old garden through a meadow lark full-throated sang his love song to the morn the crimson jacmino grew there for there new love was born gold of ophir a dark-eyed indian princess was wooed so legends say by a brave and gallant soldier who loved and rode away under the shadow of the hills capped by eternal snows she sleeps enwrapped and sheltered by the gold of ophir rose ragged robin a dusky baby came to share a gypsy's caravan the dark-eyed mother loved the child as only mothers can she laid him amongst the grasses where the south wind softly blows love's angel sent to mark the spot the ragged robin rose killarney a bonny irish lassie followed her sweetheart true to distant shores where homesick tears bedimmed her eyes of blue the little people heard her plaint and pitying her woes they planted as a sweet surprise the pink killarney rose marie von Houta. upon a cactus-covered hill facing the ocean blue a shining cross was raised aloft by one whose heart was true the seeds of faith he scattered where the western sunset glows took root and grew and blossomed in the crucifixion rose american beauty where great ambitions swirl around a teeming toiling mart a gray-haired gardener worked and hoped love's fair dream in his heart the vision bright he cherished till with velvet leaves uncurled a perfect rose rewarded him love's gift to all the world the rainbow rose the rainbow on a summer day glowing against the sky was filled with pity as it heard a hapless lover's sigh a shower of sympathy it sent to compass him around where fell those drops of kindly balm the rainbow rose was found sweet briar rose some love the spot where lilies fling their subtly sweet perfume some love the languorous lotus with its oriental bloom but drifting downward through the years my loyal memory goes to where my childhood's treasure lives the wild sweet briar rose End of poems 9 to 17. This recording is in the public domain. End of A Sheaf of Roses by Elizabeth Gordon.